So we are now just hours away from WWDC 2023. It seems like this will be one of the most exciting keynotes that Apple will hold in quite a few years. Of course, we're getting all new software updates and we're really excited to see what Apple has in store with iOS 17, which initially was believed to be just a minor update with mostly being like focused on security, improvements, performance, battery and all that. But during the past few weeks, we had some really nice leaks regarding new features that are coming to iOS 17, and it looks like it will actually be a great update. Of course, we will have other stuff there like the new Apple headset and all that, which will make this WWDC really, really interesting. So we can't wait to see what will happen in a few hours from now. So you want to install iOS 17 on your device in this video. I will show you guys everything that you need to do on your device in order to prepare your device to install iOS 17 when it gets released after WWDC 2023. So as far as releasing time goes, you know that tomorrow it will be of course June 5th. That's when Apple will hold WWDC 2023. Of course, it will start with a conference there. And what will happen is that always the software is actually released by Apple after the event is over. So usually the event would take around an hour and 15 or 20 minutes. But this year due to Apple also launching like the headset and all that stuff, I expect it to actually be at least around two hours. So the event will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time and at around noon Pacific time, probably that's the time when it will end. And after that, just a few moments after that, you will be able to actually install iOS 17 dev beta on your device. Now, before we get started and I show you guys the technical thing, what you have to do to actually get your device prepared for iOS 17, let me just talk about another feature that has been reported coming to iOS 17, and that has to do with Siri. Actually, now we might see some like AI integration with Siri probably this year as AI is like big and of course it's everywhere now. But according to Mark Gurman, there will be also a change where Apple will actually remove the hey word before Siri. So you know that phrase we use to actually invoke Siri that will actually be removed and it will be something like Alexa and all the all the other comp competitors to Siri. That's what is changing with Siri on iOS 17. We had that report as I said from Mark Gurman from Bloomberg which is really really interesting. And now let's talk about the technical side of things how you prepare your device to actually install iOS 17. And now let's talk about the technical side of things how you prepare your device to actually install iOS 17. Now, first of all, of course, you will need a device that supports iOS 17. Now this year, we're not sure whether the A11 devices will support iOS 17. So those are the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and of course, the iPhone 10. Now we had two different reports. And what's really interesting is that both of these reports are by sources that actually are quite reliable and they had a lot of like reports that turned out to be true in the past. So they're actually pretty reliable. So we don't know whether that has changed like two different sources, maybe having information from two like different times. And of course, something has changed there. But one says that all the current devices that support iOS 16 will be supported. One says that the A11 devices won't be supported. But again, we will have to wait and see for that until tomorrow. But when it comes to devices, of course, you will need your device. And I would really, really suggest that you don't install iOS 17, especially the first day beta on your main device. I will do that. Actually, I will install it here on my main device, but that's not a great example because that is quite a big update and always it has a lot of bugs, glitches. Your device probably will reboot randomly and the stuff won't go the way it should because of course it's a big update. A ton of new features being added. Your device will be a mess. So I would suggest if you want to install it on your main device, please wait at least until beta 2 or even better until the public beta releases. So what you will need next is of course a dev ID. This year, as you know by now, Apple has changed the way you actually use your device to update to a beta program. You will actually need a dev ID and sign in right here, general software update. And right here will have basically a space where you can sign in with a different dev ID. So if you don't want to change the Apple ID that you have currently on your device, 
or you have a different Apple ID on your device and a different one for your dev account, you can just add it here without having to actually change the entire Apple ID on your device, which is a great feature to have. Now, once you have done that, you will see right here, the dev beta option. And of course, if you don't see that, then what you need to do, I've seen this problem. I had this problem, even though I had a dev account, it didn't show the dev beta option. What you would need to do to fix that, just go to your apps here and find the feedback app and make sure you sign in right here on the feedback app. Once you have signed in here, it would and it should actually show the dev option here. Of course, if you don't see it, it should appear right here once you sign in on the feedback app. Now, once you're signed in, you should see something like this. Now, this will be really interesting because currently we have, it will actually be two different beta programs because we will have iOS 17 and iOS 16 beta at the same time, probably it will show right here at the top iOS 17 and then below it iOS 16 or maybe vice versa, but we should see all the different beta programs right here on one page. So from there, you will be able to actually just click and install whichever one you want. So one thing you need to make sure is that if you wanna install iOS 17 tomorrow, you will need to update your device to iOS 16.5. I know a lot of users haven't done that because there are a lot of complaints regarding iOS 16.5 and its battery draining issue, issue. But if you want to install iOS 17, you will need to have at least iOS 16 on your device, iOS 16.5 on your device. Otherwise, you won't be able to update straight to iOS 17. You will have to actually update first to iOS 16.5 and then move on to the new iOS 17. Now, of course, a few other things like technical things that you need to have before trying to install this update. Always, there is the need for storage. This will be a big update. Most likely, it will come over 5 gigs on your device. That is, of course, always different based on which device you're using, but it should be at around five and, and a half, maybe even six gigs. So what I suggest you do, you have at least like eight or maybe nine gigs of free storage on your device. So if you don't want to have problems with the update, maybe the update being stuck or just having to do all this and trying to install iOS 17, do it before prepare a device, remove stuff that you might not need, or maybe like apps. You can see right here, I have a few apps that are taking a lot of space. We know that these apps actually are not that big in size, but the data right here is quite big. So you can delete the app and reinstall it and it will clear that data, which is really great. And for something like Snapchat, you can go into its settings and just remove the cache data and you'll, good, you'll be good to go. You will have a ton of free space to actually free space to actually install your device. And one other thing, this right here, you can see mine is at like 40, 48 right now what that is. So basically without having 50% battery, you won't be able to update your device. So if you just wanna update as soon as iOS 17 comes out, make sure you also have a ton of battery there over 50% or have somewhere to charge when you're trying to install iOS 17. Otherwise you won't be able to update. So that is it for this video guys. This is how you can prepare your device for the new iOS 17, of course. Always, if you're just trying to install it as soon as, it's, as it comes out tomorrow, which should be really, really exciting. I know we had quite a lot of leaks and rumors, not that many actually, but quite some interesting ones, but hopefully there will be a lot more tomorrow and this should be a really, really exciting update. So if you wanna see more videos regarding iOS 17 and of course all of its features and everything once it comes out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also hit that like button and I will see you guys on the next video.